Now we will take a look at the line chart template for SharePoint Online. You can find this template at SharePoint-Boards.com and there's a link in the description also below. This template is expecting numeric data and in the example I've created 12 number columns in my SharePoint list. And these can be currency also. In my example, I've named my columns according to the months in the year. So I have January, February, March, etc. Um, going across. I'm going to get a chart for each single record in my SharePoint list with this template. When you first come to this template, you should browse the different theme options, which will help you get some ideas in terms of things that you can adjust in terms of the appearance of your chart. All of the things related to the appearance are configurable. You can change the background colors, uh, foreground colors, the line color, the thickness, width, height. Um, really everything about this appearance is adjustable um, using these settings. And as I adjust those settings, you'll see the preview window update, which will help me understand what my output's gonna be like when I apply this to my SharePoint site. Be sure when you first come into the template that you adjust the SP fields option to match the number of fields you're using in SharePoint. In my case, I have 12 numeric fields and so I've got that set at 12. If you were using A columns, you would adjust that. So make sure you have that correct. The test data just points to some numbers used for the preview up at the top of the screen. And then you can do other things like adjust the line width if you like a wider line. You'll notice this also has a little bit of a curve. Um, if you want just straight lines, you can adjust that to zero and that would be more of what you see in a regular line chart. That's entirely up to you. And then also I can do things like adjust the size of the points on the chart um, and then um, other options as well. So the best thing to do is just to experiment with different options to um, see how things look until you get it looking exactly the way you want. You may be, for example, you want to show the values. You may want to put um, something like a dollar sign in there if this is um, about money, that type of a thing. Um, so let's do a title here, say annual sales. And once you have everything ready, you can then copy your template. Another interesting thing you can do, you can actually use a different shape for the point. So if you don't want to use a circle, um, you could use uh, like a star, for example. So there's um, some interesting options there as well. Quite a lot of different options. The best thing to do is just try different things. You can do all of this in the preview window to see what it's going to look like. So once I've done all of those things, I just click the copy template button and then follow the instructions in the pop-up window and click OK. This is a view template, so I need to click on the view selector and use the format current view option. I'm going to get rid of the default code and replace it with my template, which I just pasted in. Okay, so there is my output. Now, once you have that pasted over, if you want to continue to make some adjustments on the appearance, it's easy to do that. I can come back to my template screen and I can uh, you know, make adjustments um, to you know, go for a different look if I just want to uh, make it have a different appearance. Okay, so that's a different background gradient. Um, let's try doing it with um, a cross instead for the uh, points. Um, you get the idea. You can change to different colors. Maybe I want the grid color to stand out more. So I'll pick um, a different color for that. I did an orange, red, um, same drills before. I just hit copy template when I'm ready and I can just 
overwrite the value in the template code and now you can see what was in the preview is copied over. So it's very easy to make small adjustments until you get um, the final output that you desire. This template is one of many different charting templates at the SharePoint dashboards.com site. The charting templates are part of the pro subscription package. Um, if you have not used any of the templates yet with SharePoint dashboards.com, I would recommend starting first with the 20 free templates, and then you can um, add on the subscription if you would like to tap into all of these different charting options. Um, before that, you can use this preview to see exactly what the charting output uh, will look like. So you can try this out um, before you do that. I hope you find that useful and I hope you can experiment with all these different options to come up with your own unique look and feel.